It's kind of expected. Mm -hmm. Normally we don't see peak until, you know, late October, early November. And it depends on the weather several months beforehand. And as you can recall, it's been very dry lately. Mm -hmm. Certainly like to see a little bit of rain, of course, during the summer months, which we did have. But we have been seeing some cool mornings, warm afternoons. That's going to help to make things pretty vibrant. But we're already starting to see those leaves change out there. And so when you might be wondering when things are going to be in peak foliage, well, fortunately, we're starting to see those colors already. You might have already seen your neighbors or you yourself might have been already already outside raking up some of those leaves and don't worry there's plenty more where that came from forecast peak for fall foliage expected to be around the week of the 23rd for us later this month so still pretty patchy right now so we got a couple more weeks and you can still see a lot of green out there over towards licking county which fortunately it looks green and not as dry as what it was you know a couple weeks ago unfortunately still dealing with drought conditions across the state but it was nice for us to at least end last week with a little bit of rain and it's looking like that's how this week will also be for us temperatures right now at 78 degrees here in columbus everyone back into the 70s today after what was a pretty chilly start outside of central ohio a lot of places even up towards Coshocton in the upper 40s this morning in Mount Vernon and you're already at 77 degrees. So things are warming up quickly. Thanks to high pressure and control, that's going to keep things nice and dry as we head into this evening and over the next several days. So right now we're going to continue to see these temperatures rise into the low 80s as we head into this evening. Very comfortable as we head into the early part of the night. As we go into the overnight hours, temperatures will start to fall back into the 70s, eventually the 60s, and we might even see a handful of places back into the low to mid 50s as we head into your Tuesday morning. Go to tomorrow. Not much of a change for us on paper. It's going to be very similar and how it feels also very similar to what we're going to have today. Temperatures will be back into the upper 70s by around lunchtime, low to mid 80s for us as we head into the afternoon and just so happens to be the case on Wednesday as well. Thursday also looking pretty warm, but then really starting to drop more fall like on Friday where again, usually this time of the year our highs are right around 72 degrees and we're going to do quite the flip with our weather as we head towards the end of the week. So big picture here right now, as I mentioned, nice and dry. Thanks to high pressure. That's also a reason why winds are relatively calm because high pressure is right over our head. That's where we have a lot of air that's being pushed down near the surface and things are very dry out there. So it's going to take a while for this rain to eventually build and move through central Ohio as we head towards the second half of the week. We'll stop things here going into Thursday evening. We'll approach with this cold front from the west. That's going to gradually drape across central Ohio as we head into the day on Friday. Now, being that we're still quite a few days out as far as the exact timing of when we're going to see this system down to the hour by hour, still a little bit fuzzy because we have different agreement or not so much agreement amongst some of our models that we use for events that are a little bit further down the road. As we get closer, we'll get a better idea of the exact pinpoint uh, timing of this system. But for right now, it is looking like the rain will be primarily into the late evening hours on Thursday going into the day on Friday with that front passing through during the day on Friday. So probably will be kind of a breezy, uh, raw, chilly day for us to wrap up the work week. And looks like it's going to be one of the first potentially wet Friday night football games for us, but then looking like things will slowly clear out as we head into the weekend and leaving us with mainly dry conditions, but a big difference in temperatures. Just how much? Well, we're going to go from the low to mid 80s for us as we head into the next couple days to the upper 50s going into Saturday. And you know, even though we're still a couple days out, we could see some changes where these temperatures could even get cooler as we head into the weekend and just downright chilly for us. Temperatures will be on either side of 60 degrees Saturday and Sunday. Probably we'll see clouds linger a bit over the weekend again, mainly dry and then looking somewhat unsettled with more chances for some showers and also staying on the cool side with highs back below average hanging out mainly into the 60s.